Fritz Haber was a professor at the prestigious University of Karlsruhe and was married to fellow chemist Clara Imavar. Haber would go on to win a Nobel Prize in chemistry, but he also played a major role in the manufacture of chemical weapons. He really pressed the Germans, who the German military didn't have much regard for science, pressed the Germans to see what science could do in providing them with explosives and in providing them with chemical weapons, and he oversaw the first use of uh, chemical warfare on the Western Front. He saw it as an efficient way to fight a war, and he didn't think it was especially inhumane. After all, he said, death is death, however it is inflicted. His wife, Clara, pleaded with him to stop working on gas warfare. He angrily and publicly denounced her as a traitor. Gas warfare was a horrific but extremely effective new weapon. It not only crippled and killed, but also instilled terror right across the battlefield. Casualties from the first use of Ypres were, were, were estimated at five to 10,000 dead, with many, many more injured. Um, and Harbour was delighted, as, as were the German military. Harbour was promoted to captain and he returned to Berlin in triumph. But the couple continued to argue because Clara was deeply unhappy with what he was doing. Harbour, however, felt that he had a absolute scientific and patriotic duty to continue working in chemical warfare. Finally, and tragically, Clara took matters into her own hands. In the middle of the night, Clara silently removed her husband's pistol from its holster. She stepped outside, and then she shot herself through the heart. Later that day, Fritz Haber left for the Eastern Front to oversee the next gas release against the Russians. He left behind his grieving 13-year-old son, who had been the one to discover his mother's dead body. Harbour continued to enthusiastically promote the use of poison gas. And his colleagues would go on to develop even more deadly nerve gases. One reason why World War I became known as the Chemist War.